This is Phineas Gage and he survived having a metal rod driven straight through his brain. At the time of the incident, Gage worked as a railroad engineer and his job was to detonate explosives to clear the way for the railroad. On September 18th, 1848, Gage packed a hole with explosives and detonated it. But this time, a three and a half foot long metal rod ignited with gunpowder shot straight through his head, completely destroying and obliterating the left frontal lobe of his brain. The rod entered his head just below his cheekbone and came out the top of his head. Immediately after the incident, Gage was still still conscious and able to speak, but his condition worsened in the coming days. Despite this, within a couple months he completely regained all physical strength and returned to his job on the railroad. He didn't suffer from any speech or motor disabilities, and his memory remained mostly unimpaired. However, Gage's personality changed and his co-workers declared he was no longer himself. He was described as restless, disrespectful, and unreliable following the accident. He went on to live 12 years after the accident, and at the age of 33 he died of a seizure.